this is a small patch of maize that I've grown in my garden. Now it's ripe for harvesting. In addition to the edible part, the mice kernels, which are in here, there's lots of biomass. Biomass we can use for biochar production. So my plan is to find out how much biochar we can actually produce from maize residuals. For this, I will take an average size plant, I will measure the biomass, I will turn this into biochar, and then calculate the weight of the biochar, put this in perspective, and calculate the potential, the potential for biochar production for maize residuals for my garden and on a global level. Let's find out. Before we can convert the biomass into biochar, the biomass needs to be dried first. I'm using a special ventilated drying oven for this, where I will dry the biomass for a couple of hours at about 105 degrees. The biomass is dry now. In the next step, I will fill the biomass into steel crucibles and then I will put the crucibles into a furnace. The process that converts biomass into biochar is called pyrolysis. Now, pyrolysis only works in the absence of air. This is why I have put lids on the crucibles. The crucibles have cooled down. Before we come to the fun part and see if we actually have biochar in there, I need to give a word of warning. Never produce biochar inside a building. The pyrolysis process releases harmful fumes that need to be vented. So please always produce biochar outdoors and use, for example, a drum or a bowl-shaped kiln for this. And here's our biochar. This is or was part of the maize stalk. Um, part of a leaf. Very light, very friable. Tussle. And cop. All very friable. That's a nice biochar.